key of imagination. do that quite yet. I need to resample it. It's too small. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Hyde's source image is 2272 by 1704. That'll make it fit better. two are at zero. Now by using this I can change the transparency or so I can see through it. And we want the match to line up in the box and ball and play to line up. And then probably uh, that should be in the middle of all those circles up there for high score. So my object, move it down. Not sure if that's ball to play or ball in play. In order to figure that out, the manual might might have something there for it. Table script too sometimes. Stretch this out. So maybe a little. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Right now we're just trying to get this as close to possible so that when when we're placing our lights, they'll be uh, in the right places. This can also take quite a bit of time, <laughs> as you can tell. So we're going to apply that, we're going to switch up there, full opacity. Now if the backside image was good enough and clear enough, we could just mask off those letters for, for the lights, like game over and stuff. In this case, as you can tell, I'm just using it for reference as to where things might go, and then I'm going to use my very own font for for that stuff. So for here I'm going to move that up just a little. If I can get centered. That looks centered to me. That looks about right. Cool. trouble here with these mice. If you have cats, which I have six of, uh, there's cat ear which gets in there. Makes it very hard to use. So now that I've cat ears cleaned out, I should have a better uh, chance here doing this. Uh, I'll just save it.
merge them for me. There. Right now I'm just masking those letters. get the colors right. Go ahead and sample that. Back to my copy. You want to make sure that anti-alias is turned off for, for this stuff, otherwise you'll, you'll get nasty jaggies. Gonna quite save it yet. Gonna remask them. Create a lens. Fitness contrast intensity. quite bright. Okay, now I can rotate it because this will be like on, on the back glass there. Okay. After that we're going to double size it again. Now the left side here is going to be fully transparent for when it's off. When it's on, I'll light up. Save it as a BMP so that you keep the transparency. At this point I shouldn't have saved that, uh, this one. So now the image will be changed. No one's really going to notice after this is uh, resampled down. Go ahead and fix that. Yeah. That looks pretty dirty. Now the um, image here, we're going to go ahead and paper size it again, only this time it's going to be pushed to the left. 44, 45, 44. And then as far as the height goes, it needs to be 61% for my cabinet. So 